Surah Quraysh with meaning, Tafsir and Asbabun Nuzal. Surah Quraysh is the 106th surah in the Quran. The following is the translation, Asbabun Nuzal and Tafsir of Surah Quraysh. This surah consists of four verses and is a Makkaya surah. Only some scholars call it Madaniya. It is the 29th surah that was revealed to the Messenger of Allah. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Surah Quraysh is named after the first verse of this surah. Quraysh was the strongest and most influential tribe in Makkah. Here is Surah Quraysh meaning. Meaning, because of the custom of the Quraysh, i.e., their custom of traveling in winter and summer. So let them worship the Lord of this house, the Kaaba, who has given them food to relieve their hunger and secure them from fear. Asbabun Nuzal Some Mafasiran explain that this Surah Quraysh was revealed by Allah to remind the Quraysh of Allah's favors. One of them is the blessing of security, which in Surah Al-Fil describes the destruction of the elephant army that wanted to invade Makkah to destroy the Kaaba. With that security, the Quraysh could carry out their custom of traveling in winter and summer. The Surah also recalls another of Allah's favors in the form of food. With so many blessings, the Quraysh should have worshipped Allah without associating him with anything. When explaining the Asbabun Nuzal of Surah Quraysh, Sheikh Waba Az Zuhaili in Tafsir al Munir presents a hadith that Ibn Kathir also quoted in his Tafsir. Um Hani bint Abu Talib reported that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Allah has honored the Quraysh with seven things. I am from among them, prophethood is with them, Hijaba and Sikaya are with them, Allah helps them from the elephant army. They worshipped Allah for ten years when no other people worshipped him. And Allah revealed a surah in the Quran that speaks about them. Then the Messenger of Allah recited Surah Quraysh, H.R. Baihaqi, Hassan. Interpretation of Surah Quraysh This interpretation of Surah Quraysh is not a new interpretation. We tried to summarize it from Tafsir ibn Kathir, Tafsir Fi Jilalil Quran, Tafsir al Azhar, Tafsir al Munir, and Tafsir al Misbah. In order to be concise and easy to understand. Because of the custom of the Quraysh, i.e., their habit of traveling in winter and summer. So let them worship the Lord of this house, the Kaaba, who has given them food to relieve their hunger and secure them from fear. Quraysh, 1 to 4. The name Quraysh is taken from the name of the character, Quraysh. Quraysh is the title of an Hr bin Kanana, who was the 13th grandfather of the Messenger of Allah. Messenger of Allah Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib bin Hashim bin Abdi Manif bin Kilab bin Mora bin Ka'ab bin Louis bin Ghalib bin Fir bin Malik bin Nadiachar bin Kanana. There are also those who say that Quraysh is fear. Whichever is true, almost all the original inhabitants of Makkah were descendants of Quraysh. There is also an opinion that Quraysh comes from the word Karasya, which means to strive or seek. This tribe was called Quraysh because they were known as tenacious businessmen and always looked for people who needed to be helped. Others argue that Quraysh comes from the word Kursi, which means shark. This fish is very strong, more powerful than other fish, and can even overturn a boat. Quraysh was named to illustrate the strength of this tribe like a shark. I.e., their custom of traveling in winter and summer.
The word Rilla comes from the word Rahala, which means going to a relatively distant place. The Rilla in this verse is a trade trip of the Quraysh people which was carried out twice a year, namely in winter and summer. This journey was spearheaded by the Prophet's grandfather, Hashim bin Abdi Manif. Previously, in Makkah there was the term Al-Itifar. Namely, when the people of Makkah experienced food difficulties, the family leader took them to one place. Then build a tent there to stay until starving to death. One day the Bani Mazam family wanted to do Al-Itifar and Hashim. The Prophet's grandfather heard about it. So he conveyed it to the Quraysh and asked them to help each other. From there they agreed to go on a trade trip whose profits were shared equally. What the rich earned, the poor earned in equal measure. Presumably it is this custom that Allah praises in this surah. So let them worship the Lord of this house, Kaaba. That is, let them honor him in their worship. It is he who has made for them a pure and safe city and a sanctified Kaaba. The meaning is the same as the words of Allah to Allah. I am only commanded to worship the Lord of this land, Mecca, who has made it pure and to him belong all things, and I am commanded to be among those who surrender. Q.S. and Namal, 91, who has given them food to relieve their hunger and secure them from fear. It is he who feeds them so that they do not hunger and it is he who has given them security and many favors. So let them worship Allah and give him the glory and associate nothing with him. The two favors in this last verse, economic prosperity and security stability, are two very important things for the happiness of society. And these favors of Allah upon the Quraysh they obtained because Allah placed his home there. Hence the mention in verse 3, Rabba Hajjal Bait. Had Allah not placed his house there, they would not have obtained these privileges and conveniences. Concluding Tafsir of Surah Quraysh Surah Al-Fil explains the destruction of the elephant army that was about to attack the Kaaba. Surah Quraysh explains Allah's favor to Quraysh because of the Kaaba in their city. Surah Quraysh recalls the favors Allah bestowed upon Quraysh ranging from their custom of trade travel to food sufficiency and security stability. So Allah also warned them to worship him without associating anything with him. Thus Surah Quraysh starting from translation, as Baboon Nuzal, to interpretation. May it increase our faith and increase our gratitude. Wallahu alam bish shuwab.